Welcome back to Transmission on Bent TV. I'm Sammy Cameron, and today we're talking about mental health. Joining me today are Nate, Tony, and Sean. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. So, um, although a large proportion of trans people who have made the choice to transition are very pleased that they've gone through with it, the stereotyping stigma and discrimination that can come from families, workplaces, and strangers can have a huge detrimental effect on individuals. Numerous studies repeatedly tell us that trans people have significantly higher proportions than the general population that have considered or attempted to self-harm or take their life. Why is this proportion so high and do mental health challenges uh, go hand in hand with being trans? Yes, I think they do, very much so. It's a big issue and uh, it's one that takes a lot of work to get around. It's very hard to not be accepted as who you are and to, well, not accept yourself. So that can cause a lot of problems. That's probably one of the biggest problems, isn't it? Mm. We need to accept ourselves. Well, that's the first thing you've got to do. Yeah. I suppose that, you know, they do, they do go hand in hand in terms of people, in terms of the trans community tends to have higher proportions of things like mental illness and things like that. But I don't think it's necessarily a direct link. Um, and I think that it's it's similar to um, when people talk about um, having mental health problems to do with sort of coming out in terms of gay and sexuality and all that sort of thing, um, that there is a link, but I don't think it's the only link. And I suppose that there's other life stuff that happens as well, just as like the general community, which also can can sort of be linked in as well. So I think it's it's quite easy to sort of link it that anyone who's who's trans or gender diverse, who has a mental health illness, has a mental health illness because of their gender identity, mm -hmm. um, and I don't think that's always the case. Mm, okay. Well, keeping um, who you are suppressed or, or like just the information that like, because you have to come out, um, you can't tell people, that can lead to depression and, and other um, problems because you just have so much weight um, inside you that you just, you can't get out. And, and depression is so common and it's, it can come from just, just something like that. Yeah. And, and depression is a mental health issue, so when we say mental health issues are so high, we can just say depression. Mm. Yep, for sure. That and anxiety mm. about being outed or not being comfortable where you're at. Where you're at. Um, it just adds to the, the burden that you've got um, because being trans isn't a mental health issue itself. It's what goes with it. And uh, a lot of people have other issues in life, um, whether they're trans or not. Trans people, they have the same sort of issues too. So I guess we're disproportionately, um, there's more mental health issues amongst trans people, but the connections and links are there in some cases and, and not in others. Yep. Okay. So Nate, how, does, how much does successfully passing as your preferred gender help your mental health? Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know sort of broadly, but for me personally, I know that it wasn't so much about how I was read. So people misgendering me and things like that sort of on the street in terms of strangers and all that sort of things never impacted me to a significant degree. Like I was, I was okay with going, okay, yeah, whatever. If I'd had a bad day, then it would get me down. But generally I was okay with it. And it was, for me, it was more sort of I, my mental health improved when I felt more comfortable within my own body rather than what other people were perceiving me. But I, I mean, I think it, it can in, impact, particularly if you're having those bad days and then you go to this coffee shop and you get, you know, hurt or hymned or depending on, you know, that, that can, that can impact. Um. How does finding other people with similar issues to ourselves um, help with our mental health? I think it's important that you <clears throat> realise or come to understand that you're not alone, that there are other people there. It's, you know, being trans isn't a rarity. It's not common, but it's not a rarity. So being with other people, in this, being with other trans people is important because it makes you feel part of the world. And how do you find other trans people? Uh, there's groups. On the, you can get access to them through the internet. Uh, you can get access to them through um, mental health services, through your GP, um, through things like Switchboard and other supports. Why gender is a really good one for, for trans specifically? 
Yeah. Um, the lots of um, uh, trans youth, uh, that's where I started. And before that, I just could not accept myself because I didn't know that anyone else existed. And there are so many um, awesome people in my agenda and um, that, that helped me to um, come to terms with, with it. Mm. Um, I certainly found that, yeah, the, the, the fact that there are lots of different kinds of groups of people um, where we live in Melbourne mm -hmm. and the internet has connected us all up together as well. There's always someone that you can find that's similar in some ways. Mm. And also um, just like thing, things like YouTube and things like that, like if you just, you know, if you put in a search term, mm. you, you'll get something, you'll get find someone even if they're on the other side of the world that has a similar experience. That, that so that we know that we're not yeah. alone and we're not the only one that has this particular issue. I yeah. love watching the, uh, the vlogs on, on YouTube uh, yeah. about like um, people's personal issues and mm. Yeah, there are some there that have sort of got a series that have started from when they transitioned sort of virtually every month on and some of them are a couple of years through their transition or really past it, I suppose, but, and they're very interesting. How useful is professional help? Psychologists, psychiatrists, counsellors, those sorts of things? Start with your general, your GP, um, and there are some specialist groups around, and there is are they, are they, is it useful though? Is it I, something that's I'm worth doing? I'm a big advocate for uh, for counselling. Mm -hmm. uh, it uh, I've been in counselling for 13 years now, um, but it has helped me a lot. And it's really uh, you have to find someone who works with you. People get very nervous about um, saying that they don't like the the counsellor that they're with. But if your counsellor doesn't work with you, then the, find another one. Find another one. There's, exactly, not, exactly. there's nothing you and can do about not clicking. Yeah. And there's plenty of them around. Yeah. yeah. So that's a great piece of advice. And when they do click, it really helps you a lot. And uh, yeah. go, go what, forward in strides and bounds. What about um, drugs and alcohol? They must have they have a serious effect on our mental health. So, uh, Just a no-no. Stay away from them. Well, I mean, uh, moderation. Self-medicating is yeah, not a good self -medication thing. Self-medication is not a good thing. Uh, mm. But you also need to be careful with uh, prescribed medications as well, that uh, they uh, that you get them reviewed if you're not happy with how things are going. Because hormones can have an effect on our mental health as My well. Word. And mm. something yeah. to be very careful about. So in summary, what are some of the things you'd recommend for someone that's feeling very negative? Um, talk to friends. Definitely um, having a good network around you is a very important thing. Having interests and getting out of bed by 10 o'clock in the morning and just going and doing something. Even if you're feeling terrible, get up and wash the dishes while you're still being terrible. It's better than staying there. Great. Uh, look, I'd like to thank um, uh, Nate, Tony and Sean for joining us today. I'm Sammy Cameron on Transmission for Vent TV. I look forward to seeing you all next time.